Truth, truth. Did you hear? Did you hear the great news? Greg Berlanti is going to be the DC president studio going forward. You know, the guy who made Supergirl. Isn't that great? <laughs> What's going on my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy the Truth31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and uh, chest. So, Greg Berlanti, if you don't know who this man is, he has been in charge of all the DC TV shows like Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, Black Lightning, uh, Legend of Tomorrow, and shit like that, right? Riverdale, before Riverdale lost his damn mind and became Scarlet Witch 2.0. I don't know what the hell happened to that show. So there's this big rumor, whisper around Tinseltown that Greg Berlanti is in the running to be the DC President's Film Studio going forward. Um, how do I feel about this? Well, let me put it to you like this. I would rather have a steel needle shoved inside my urethra and tell me, how does that feel, Truth? Oh, that feels great, Janet. Can you just twist it and jam it just a little bit farther? Oh, there you go. Oh, thank you, Janet. That really hit the spot. Oh, wait. Even though I'm screaming and dying internally, the pain is making it feel oh so sweet. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I don't, 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 don't do this. This is a terrible idea. And of course, this is just a rumor. This hasn't been confirmed. And there's even been, you know, um, talk to, talks about this, about, you know, Greg Berlanti might not even be interested in the job. And, and Warner Brothers uh, Discovery hasn't actually approached um, Greg Berlanti to be part of the DC Film Studio going forward. So again, this is all just rumors. But again, you never know, right? You never know what's going to happen. They may change their mind. Greg Berlanti might actually be interested because who doesn't want to be the savior of DC, right? Who doesn't want to be the Kevin Feige for the DC Film Studios going forward, right? Especially like DC is such a massive big property so just imagine imagine if you're the guy who course corrects everything writes the ship dc is a mess right now and you're the guy who literally saves dceu from imploding i get that i understand that that's an intoxicating feeling to be you know patted on the back like oh man greg great job bro you literally saved dc universe don't you oh great great but at the end of the day I would rather have been served dog shit than to have this man run DC Film Studios going forward. And here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Again, it's just, I don't think he's the right fit. Um, I put out a tweet saying like, if Greg Berlanti was literally the DC Films president studio going forward, it would be Marvel 2.0. It would be, it would be Marvel 2.0. Because if you look at, again, let's be honest here. The, fir the first two seasons of Green Arrow, fantastic. First season of Flash, fantastic. The first season of, of Black Lightning, really fantastic. But the rest of the seasons sucked more ass than Gina Michaels in a Black Raw video starring Prince. And don't ask me how I know these names by heart. I just do. Go fuck yourself. I don't want this, bro. And, and it looks like, as of right now, it's not going to happen. Thank the Lord. But you never know in this town. Things might change. Egos, you know, egos, um, egos might be involved. It's like, you know what? What if I was the guy that saved DC? Man, that really sounds good. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> DC, DC is in a mess right now as it is. So I think we can do better. I think we, we can find better. And just look at the track record for the CW shows. They just go off the rails and they become stale. They become, um, and, and again, I, I don't want to use this word, but woke. Like, do I really want to see like Henry Cavill, Superman? You know, like, you know what, Lois? I think I'm actually in love with Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Again, nothing wrong with that, but I don't want to. I don't want this shit to turn into you know Days of Our Lives or a fucking Empire and shit. Like no, no, bro, no, no. I I know that would never happen. You know, I'm just being sarcastic here. But you catch my drift. Uh, 
And I, I know people are like, truth, truth. Oh my God, look at you, truth. You're so homophobic. How could you be so homophobic? It's like, are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me, bro? If I would have a Henry Cavill poster shirtless in my background, baby old up, don't get too excited, Eddie Diaz, I would plant it. Because because I wouldn't go gay for anyone. But Henry Cavill, yeah. I think I might just do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I'm not. Stop it right there. Shut the music down. Shut it down. Wait a minute. Shut the stupid music down. So, that's going to be it, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. If you join the Truth Army, share the video, like the video if you be so kind. As always, put your comments down below and tell me what do you think. Do you think truth? Greg Berlanti was the savior of the DCCW shows. All those shows were fantastic. You're just a hater. That would be a great choice. Or do you think truth? That would be a horrendous choice. We don't want Greg Berlanti. We don't want any of that CW nonsense anywhere near the DC films going forward. And I do think that we can do better. So as always, love you guys. Stay safe. Mwah! Truth out. Uh, uh, uh.